Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel, How to Paint Watercolours and me Colin. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the colours, Naples Yellow and Cadmium Yellow Light. A weak mix of Cadmium Orange, Cobalt Blue, Elysian Crimson, Burnt Sienna. A thicker mixture of the same colour, Cobalt Blue, Burnt Sienna and Elysian Crimson but mixed to a browning side for clouds. And we've got a couple of colours extra, Burnt Sienna, Pencils Marine and Elysian Crimson. This is a, a rocky shoreline. I thought this would be nice to paint, so I'm just going to run some of the Naples yellow and cadmium yellow into it and bring it down over the rocks. And I don't want too much of this. And I'm going to take the wash of the cobalt blue, burnt sienna and alizarin crimson. I want this on weak. So I'm going to take some of the alizarin crimson to make sure it's not too strong. I'm just going to brush that in. And then I just want to drop in some weak cadmium orange, just in spots. And I'm going to take the thicker version of the cobalt blue burnt sienna with all this and crimson in it. I'm just going to vary the sky slightly. Maybe along the bottom, the thicker version is made to the sort of brownie side. Quite a few clouds down the bottom here. Put some stringy bits out on them. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. Okay, your sky's nice and dry. Coming back to your sky colour again, cobalt blue, crimson with a hint of burnt sienna in it. I'm just going to put a flat wash of this on the sea. I've got masking fluid marking out the surf and some of the areas that I want to keep clean. I'm just going to re-wet one of these rocky islands outcrops here. And I've got the board set at a steep angle so this should run. So again I'm taking some of the colours. purpley grey, touch your French ultramarine into that. I think that looks better. Very watery. Just want to put some of these trees in. Just an impression that there's some growth. Leaving some of the yellow underwash to show through. You can always put a little bit more yellow on before you do this, but you do have to allow it to dry. I've just re-wet these rocks here and I do want to add a little bit of colour into them now from the sky. So I'm going to add some of the cadmium orange weak into this. Cobalt blue, burnt sienna. I'll do some crimson in and I just want to underline little bit darker the wave pattern. Take a damp brush. I'm just gonna soften that bottom off. And once again we have to let that dry. Okay we come to the next set of rocks up to class in the middle ground and I've just re-wet certain areas of it that I want to darken up. So I've just put some sky colour in here. And I'm adding some burnt umber to this. I'll touch of French ultramarine because I do need it a little bit darker. Burnt sienna. Making a soft grey. Where the areas have been wetted, the board is set at an angle. 
I'm just going to drop this in, in little patches. And I want some of the orange and the yellow to show through. Taking a brush, just softening some patches in, creating light and dark, a little bit of colour. Take some French Salt Marine and Burnt Umber, some Alizarin Crimson into it, making it violet. That would be nice to go in, I think. Run this along the bottom. In along this back edge. dry for a while before we put some cracks and cracks in. I'll wet this one, I'll take the masking fluid off around that hole in the rock. Taking some of the yellow, quite strong, and add this in just on this edge to make it appear as if it's catching some light. Some of the cadmium orange as well, adding a little water to it. Some of the sky colour along the back here, cobalt blue. Was in crimson, a little burnt sienna. Just mixing some deeper colour up as we come round to the back side of this rock. Even throw a little bit of cobalt blue in there as well. Just darkening it, Prince Holtz Marine, burnt umber. I'm not going to add any more crimson to it. I just need some darker shading. Adding tiny bits of structure to it. Just mopping that up. Might need a little bit of darker. Colour, French Old Marine, Burnt Sienna, just to make it really dark. Tiny bit of crimson in that. And while this is still damp, just feed a little bit more of this darker colour in. some threads out just to add a little structure. Now I'm going to let that dry. Now that's dry you can see the underwash is very very interesting and I just want to start to bring out some of these rocks now. I'm using the same colour again. I want to leave a lot of the light on the front. It does need a little bringing out. So I'm just applying the paint and then just dragging it with the brush, leaving some dark and light patches and softening some of the areas in with a damp brush. Just creating a little shadow, softening this out towards the edge. Taking some of the French Ultramarine burnt umber with just a touch with a lizard and crimson in because it's this is a sort of a darker mixture. I'm just going to drop this in just to create a deeper shadow while it's still damp. Just start to build the shadows up in it. That's my other colour. I want to really darken the back side of this really to make it some real nice contrast against the sky. beginning to lay it out how it wants it. Just 
giving a general impression of the rock shape. And I'm just going to allow that to dry off a bit. I've left it a few minutes. It, like I said, it can take a while for this to build up, so you have to have a little patience. Back to my hole through the rock. I do want a little spread because I don't want it to do um, a big explosion. I just go everywhere. I'm just watching it for that spread. Just bringing the cracks out where I can. If you do them wet into wet, it allows for a, a softer transition. It's timing. Don't worry, I still get it wrong. I'm just using the colour we made up, Prince Ultramarine Burnt Umber, Velvet and Crimson. to let that dry completely. I'm just going to take some cobalt blue. I want to put a wave in round about here. So I'm just going to put that there. Run some yellow in. Say so we don't mind if we get green. Taking some of the sky colour. Cobalt blue. Burnt sienna. With a little alizarin crimson in it. big brush. I'd like the board flat. A little stronger. Adding some water. Take some cobalt blue. Some of the sky colour. in the back, otherwise that would be an eyesore. Streaking a little of the colour through it. A little movement through the back there. Maybe some along here. to the sea while the paper's still damp. I'm going to take some of the cadmium orange and I'm going to put it in here and create like a sand colour. Sort of an evening sand colour. It's quite brown now but I need to orange it up. Once again a dark colour, purpley dark colour. And along with the surf line I'm just going to drop this in. Then I'm going to let that dry. It's now time for something frightening. And I'm going to take my big brush and clean water. We wet the whole picture because I want to intensify the light. And we're going to glaze it. This is a very weak mix of French Ultramarine and Elysium Crimson. So pull this in, push the edge of that rock up. And then I'm going to let that dry. Okay, I've just turned the board round. I've just put a couple of street marks in just to separate the rock with a craft knife and a ruler. Just a couple of streaks in. 
just to break it up. Hope you've enjoyed these videos. If you have, please click the like button and subscribe. Subscribers are always welcome. And now you get round to a nice bit. This is where you get to sight, put a mat around it and frame it. Feel free to have a look at other videos I've made for YouTube. And until next time, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Thank you.